Welcome to Theory of Pets. I'm a passionate pet owner with a drive to help others like me uncover the truth about the pet industry and what goes on behind the scenes. Hey guys, welcome back to Theory of Pets. Today I have a really exciting topic that I don't think a lot of pet owners are um, educated about. So I wanted to share it with you guys today and it's light therapy for pets. If you follow my articles on Top Dog Tips or you're a frequent listener to my podcast, you know that I try to focus on natural remedies for my pets as much as I possibly can. And of course, there are times when you need to seek veterinary care and get prescription medications or um, treatments, you know, that aren't natural. But for the most part, I try and do as much holistic natural care as possible. We do work with a holistic veterinarian, which I would highly recommend if there's one in your area. Um, And a lot of people are confused between holistic and um, like all natural remedies. And holistic medicine isn't necessarily all natural. They do try to do all natural more often than not, but it's actually a mixture of both. And it's getting down to the root cause of the problem, what is causing the issue, and how can we best fix that. And sometimes that is with Western medicine, but a lot of times there are natural treatments. So Today, I'm talking about light therapy, and I actually was really, really lucky to uh, be able to talk to the CEO of a company called Luma Soothe, and it's all one word, uh, Luma Soothe, and you can find a link to their site on our um, website, theoryofpets.com, if you're listening to this in the car or if you are um, watching on social media or something like that, you can check out their site, and basically, uh, the company is focused on finding affordable quality solutions to pet health issues. Um, they Luma Soothe, they their biggest seller, I guess their their biggest um, contributor to the pet health field has been the low level light therapy that they've been able to put into a handheld device to use with your um, pets, mostly, um, well, actually, I say mostly dogs and cats, but that's not true because it can be used with horses or really any kind of uh, pet. So keep that in mind. It's not just for dogs and cats. If you're a horse owner or something like that, um, that works too. So I was able to actually talk to the company CEO, Craig Froley, and uh, we had a great conversation. He gave me a lot of information about the technology itself and the benefits of it. And of course, their device, uh, they have a light therapy device that's handheld um, and they just call it Luma Soothe Light Therapy for Pets. It's a little handheld device with lights on one end. It kind of looks like a a cup. If you held a cup upside down and the open end of the cup is obviously um, there's a clear cover over it and there's a bunch of little lights on it and you rub it on your dog um, for many reasons. Healthy skin and coat uh, to relieve inflammation and pain associated with things like arthritis, hip dysplasia, back pain, um, sprains and strains. So this is a product that can be used for all dogs. Um, It's not just about senior pets and that was one of the things that I talked to Craig about and he's going to tell us a little bit more about it in this week's interview as well as a lot of other great great information I really highly recommend every pet owner listen to this about light therapy because it can be used for puppies active dogs dogs that compete senior dogs um, dogs with health issues like cancer arthritis so uh, it's some really great information let's check it out first of all I just want to thank you for being available today and speaking to us um I, light therapy is something that's new to me and probably to a lot of pet owners, I'm sure you find. Um, So I've looked through your website, which is um, alumasoothe.com, and we'll uh, have a link to that, whether it's on social media or our website or anything, there'll be uh, a link there so people can check out your site too. But um, it's full of some great information, but there's a lot of information on there. Would you want to start by telling us just a little bit about uh, light therapy and maybe um, how it works and the history of it and all of that good stuff? Absolutely. Uh, You know, it's interesting you say that, you know, you had not heard much about light therapy. and, And honestly, very few people have. Yet, the technology has been out there for probably close to 40 years. 
Uh, it's been studied uh, in many different forms by people all over the world. Um, it's been used effectively for at least 30 of those years. And um, NASA, actually, interestingly enough, was one of the original um, groups interested in the product, and they did a lot of experimentation in space with uh, light therapy for wow. um, treatment of various little, you know, abnormalities that happen, cuts and bruises and aches and pains and whatnot, and found that, that it's one of the better treatment modalities for the space shuttles. Um, so it's, it's one of those kind of best-kept secret deals. And the, uh, the basic concept is, is that it's basically all natural light. It increases blood flow, increases circulation, especially microcirculation, which in turn reduces inflammation. Um, it, there's an enzyme in all of us and all of our pets called adenosine triphosphate. And it is one of those little workhorse enzymes that, that does a myriad of different things throughout the body. And the light therapy activates the, the ATP, as they call it, and it helps with this process of, of healing and, and cleaning up, you know, um, injury kinds of things. So we, we decided that, gosh, you know, there's light therapy available for humans, and it's been cleared by the FDA for some 12 or 14 years, but no one's ever sat back and said, gosh, what, what are we doing for our pets? And I had been involved in light therapy for human use for um, hair regrowth for some time. And it's the same basic concept um, that we were just speaking about and decided, you know, I'm a pet owner. M multitudes of my friends are all pet owners. And, the, you know, the animals end up having the same problems as uh, either skin-related issues or in a lot of cases as our pets get older, they get arthritic conditions, much like us. But nobody's around doing anything for, the, for our pets. So we decided, you know, why don't we sit back, let's build a product that, that uses the various wavelengths of light therapy, and let's build it for our pets. And let's build it at a price that it's, you know, it's any, almost, you know, quote, anyone can afford. Veterinarians offer light therapy, many of them, although not all, but a lot of them do. And the problem with it is it's effective and it's expensive. So, you know, you could pay 75 to $150 a treatment, where with our device you can pay $149 and own it and treat your pet five days a week. So we just decided let's, let's start to work on a product, and we did. So that's what brought us to our LumaSuit device. Which is a unique device um, for anybody that hasn't checked out the website before they listen to this, which is probably most listeners. Um, it's it's just, um, it almost looks like half of a cup to me. And you, um, you know, you can easily hold it in your hand um, on one side and then the lights are all uh, on the other side. And that's obviously the side that you use to treat your pet. So um, it's pretty simple as far as the design goes, which makes it easy to use. Um, and for me, I know as a pet owner, um, as far as technology, technology and uh, that kind of stuff goes, it's always nice to find something that's just really simple and quick, um, but very effective at the same time. So that's something that I, I love about the product. Um, and so the lights are, like I said, they're on the bottom and um, that's how you treat your dog. And a lot of people, when they first think of um, light we and as far as like skin and, and on your body, they think of um, you know, the UV light from the sun and skin cancer and those things. But this is a 100% um, safe treatment, correct? Ab absolutely. The, the light-emitting diodes, the LEDs, do not produce light with any ultraviolet, um, any of that. So you're really getting the, the best of natural light without any of the downside of sunlight. Um, and depending upon what you're, what you're treating – you use potentially different colors, which represent different wavelengths of light. So, for example, in our in our deep treatment head, it is basically filled with um, 940 nanometer infrared diodes. Now, infrared 
is invisible to the human eye. So we have to put some some other diodes, a few other diodes in there that show people that it's actually on and functioning. And it treats all of those things like arthritis, you know, deep muscle um, injuries, um, spinal issues, joints, you know, all over the body. And it gets a depth of penetration up to about an inch and a half where the, the skin treatment head that we have has a, a variety of different wavelengths in it, including um, yellow and green and blue and red. And those all do a little bit different, but it's all shallow penetration and only penetrate through the skin layer. So it treats things, you know, like, um, like in a human psoriasis, any kind of skin conditions in dogs, mange, um, if the dog has a surgery, or the cat, mind you, has a surgery, you know, they've got a wound, and it helps that wound heal faster. Um, the, uh, the blue light is good for, for helping uh, you Oops, know, sorry, generate. That. Uh, <laughs> that sounds a little bit like our office every now and then. Yeah. Somebody comes to <laughs> yes, <the court. laughs> I work from home, so that happens every once in a while. Yeah, well, you know, we, we, we pet owners all understand that clearly. So in any case, but the, the key issue here is, you know, there are a lot of devices on the market made for human use that, that use red light. And red light's fine, and red light's what you use for hair regrowth and a lot of that kind of thing. But the depth of penetration is not anywhere near deep enough to get to joints and spinal issues and whatnot. So, you know, we decided we would build the device with two different heads and they literally just, you just push a little button, one head snaps off, the other one snaps on. And as you mentioned, the, the device is, I mean, it only weighs, I don't even know what it weighs. It's so light. You hardly even know it's in your hand. It's like a, you know, a half of a tennis ball, so to speak. And it'll run, it runs on a 15 minute timer. So generally speaking, you will treat a region, uh, whether it's a hip or a knee or, or whatever for 15 minutes by just, you know, kind of placing the device, um, either on or just slightly above the pet's um, hair or fur, and it goes to work. But the key is it's very safe. It's all natural. It's a very holistic approach. And, in fact, we've had several people come back to us and say, you know, I've been using your device now for, you know, a month or two, and we're actually taking our pet off of the prescription medication for arthritis and just using a good glucosamine chondroit supplement in addition to the light therapy, which is fantastic because, you know, any kind of a prescription-type drug is really not good for our pets in the long run, just like it's not good for you and I. <laughs> and yeah, I laugh absolutely. when I say you and I because we have, I'll bet you half of the people that buy our device use it themselves. My wife has an arthritic thumb, and she sits at home and <laughs> watches television with things sitting on her hand all the time. So... Because it's, it's the same technology as, as, you know, one would use for human use. We just, we've just decided we want to focus on pets because it's a marketplace relative to light therapy that really hasn't been addressed. In fact, we have a vet right now that's using it on um, her horses in their foot and leg areas, seemingly with good results. So it's, you know, it's a nice, safe, easy thing to use. There's nothing to it. You know, it charges on a little USB charger, just like your, your cell phone. So you just plug it in, it charges, it takes about an hour to charge it, and it'll run for anywhere from two to three hours in 15 minute increments before it needs to be recharged. So it's simple and easy, and you don't have to be concerned about hurting the pet, which is really the important thing. With laser therapy, which is what is mostly used in your veterinarian's offices, you have to be very careful to control the dose and the time and whatnot, because with laser, you can indeed damage the tissue if you're not doing it properly. Where with LED light, you really can't. It's it's kind of, I kind of equate it to, you know, the vitamin C thing. If you take too much vitamin C, your body just, you know, spills off the excess and that's the end of it. It's a little bit that same concept with the LED light therapy. And in fact, recent studies are starting to conclude that the LED therapy is actually more effective than laser in many of the areas. I'm not totally sure why that is, but I've just been getting some interesting information about that very recently. 
Wow, that, that's excellent. Um, and you can use it pretty much anywhere on your your dog or your cat's body, correct? You can. It doesn't matter, like if you have a um, like an area on the belly where there's not a lot of hair or anything like that. Absolutely. The only precaution that we stress with folks is the lights. They, they pulse off and on because pulsing the, the light wavelength is actually more effective than it being on constantly. But in either case, the thing that's most important is you don't stare at it with your eyeball. It's, uh-huh. I don't think, honestly, I don't think it would hurt you, but it's, you know, it's, I mean, it's like. Better safe you know, than sorry, absolutely. It's really blinding light. It's like, whoa, you just don't want to do that. So, you know, I would not, I would not treat a dog, you know, around its forehead and eyes. Um, but, but other than that, there's no place on the body you can't treat safely. It does not generate a bunch of heat. Um, and, and generally speaking, once a pet gets kind of used to it, they, it kind of gives them a relaxed feeling, and they just normally like they just lay there and enjoy it. We had a, a comment from a guy the other day that said, you know, my dog at first was jumping around and, you know, really hyper and, like, it didn't want anything to do with the light. And once we worked on it a little bit, it was like he just figured out, wow, this is pretty cool, and just lays there now and enjoys the 15-minute treatment. And, of course, if you have, you know, a situation where there's an arthritic hip on both sides, well, then you're going to do a 30-minute. It's going to be 15 minutes on the side. But the pets generally love it, and there's no nothing to be concerned about um, with uh, the power of it or, or the different, you know, uh, wavelengths of it. It's just all safe and natural. And is your recommendation 15 minutes every day? You know, it's it's really a variable thing. Um, generally speaking, if we have a situation that you're just beginning to treat, the more often you do it, like every day. In fact, I know folks that initially started doing it, you know, morning and night. And then as the pet, like in an arthritis situation, you know, with arthritis, like, arthritis in humans, it doesn't go away. You're not curing it. You're simply making it more livable. You're making it more pain-free, and you're, and you're freeing up the movement. So in that scenario, you know, you're going to treat long-term, but you may end up only doing it like three times a week for 15 minutes, where initially you might start to do it every day, and in some cases, twice a day. So, and then with things like injuries, you know, you're only going to treat until the injury is healed or the, the skin condition is cleared up. And there's, you know, there's some breeds that tend to get skin conditions regularly. So, you know, you're using it off and on on a semi-regular basis. And I know, um, you know, there are veterinarians out there, and especially um, if anybody, we work with a holistic veterinarian. Um, so obviously, as soon as I, I heard about Lumasu, I wanted to um, just ask them about, uh, you know, light therapy and if they use it and things like that. Um, and so she does, and she does recommend it. But um, like you said, the treatments at the vet's office are much more expensive. You have to commute your dog to and from um, to do that. So obviously, this is a a better alternative to that. You can do it right at your home where your dog's comfortable. Um, But I know our general veterinarian that that is right here in our town, we actually have to travel a little ways to find uh, a holistic vet, but um, the general veterinarian here, when I called and asked, they don't work with light therapy, and I'm sure uh, that's more common with general veterinarians. Um, But for people who don't have a veterinarian in their area that uh, works with Lumis, uh, not just Lumis Soothe, but um, all light therapy, um, there is a ton of great information on your website. Um, I really like the frequently asked questions section because um, there are questions like if your dog has cancer, which um, we already talked about, you know, people worry about UV lights and things like that. Um, And there's some great things about it. Um, If it's environmentally friendly and some of the uh, clinical studies on light therapy are on there, which I'm going to share some of those actually on our site as well, because that's great info. Um, so people can get more information there as well. Um, but what if somebody, if they just can't find a veterinarian that um, is going to, I guess, okay this as a treatment for their dog, um, would you recommend that they just try it for the 15 minutes and then maybe do um, another 
15 minutes? Is is there ever going to be too much light therapy in one day? Well, the answer to the question is you can you can if you did it like every 2 hours, you would you would not be getting any more benefit than probably doing it once in the morning and once in the evening. Oh, okay. Um, because the cells the cells absorb the light and so they absorb the energy and that causes, you know, the the adenosine triphosphate to get going, it causes the circulation increase. But if you're consistently doing it every couple hours, you know, the cells don't need it that much. So they're basically just going to say, I don't, you know, vitamin C concept again, we're just going to slough off what we don't need here. Mm -hmm. So I don't think there's any major benefit. And you're right in terms of the veterinarian world, uh, you know, the holistic vets uh, clearly are into alternative stuff. Um, although a lot of vets that are, are not quote unquote holistic, but are, are you know forward thinking and whatnot, are are either using light therapy or they're beginning to use it. Those coming out of school and, and getting into practice, this has been part of their education. Where you know with with those that came out of school 20 years ago or 15 years ago, they probably didn't get much exposure to the light therapy. So. Um, you know, the, the, I think in a matter of another, you know, three or four years or five years, many of these folks will be on board because they're reading and hearing more all the time about how effective it is. And, you know, we have some folks that that were diagnosed, you know, the pets were diagnosed with arthritis or a, or a spinal condition or whatever, and the vet recommended light therapy. And the folks are saying, well, gosh, you know, that's really terrific, but, you know, I don't really have $300 a month to spend. Yet, you know, we could structure a program where, look, you know, once, maybe once every four to six weeks, go to the vet, have them use their device, which is more powerful. Granted, I mean, there's there's no questioning that. Um, and then in between, use our device. So you're not taking the vet out of the picture altogether. And of course, the vet will also see the benefit of using the light therapy, you know, either daily or every other day. As the pets come back for their treatment in six weeks, they're moving around a lot better than they were before. And the thing about light therapy is, you know, if you treat just once in a while, because that's all you can afford, so to speak, you're not going to get much benefit because you make, you do a treatment and it does what it's supposed to do. But then if you don't do it again for a week or two weeks or three weeks or a month, you, know, you, you the next day you've lost most all of that. So it's not, it's a process that needs to be continued all along. And, and, and we're finding more and more people in the veterinary world are saying, gosh, you know, this isn't, this isn't challenging to my practice. This is something that would be a nice adjunct to my practice. I can, I can treat here periodically and they can go home and use this device at home. And the pet will be better off for it, which is really ultimately what we're all looking for. Yeah, absolutely. That's um, that's a great point that, you know, it can kind of help curb that expense of going to the vet, um, whatever, every two or three weeks, whatever they recommend um, for sure. And so my finally, um, the device itself, you said that it was rechargeable. It takes about an hour to charge. Um, how long would a charge last? Is it just lasting like a few days? Or are you charging all the time? Well, you know, typically speaking, the, the charge time's about an hour, and then it runs on this automatic 15-minute cycle. It will run about two and a half to three hours of 15-minute cycle. So if you're doing it okay. daily, you know, you're probably going to charge once every three or four days and you know um, lithium ion batteries are batteries and and they aren't all absolutely consistent one to the other so you know we've had people say well gosh it seems like i'm charging this you know like every hour and a half of use and somebody else will say well gee, i'm getting close to two or two and a half that's really a function of how the battery smiles when it comes out out of production. Oh, right, yeah. So, but but generally speaking, it's not something you, you use it. You got to charge it. I mean, you can use it several times, Excellent. and then you just you know when you're done, you just plug it into the wall. It's a little you know micro USB connection, and you just plug it in, and it tells you when it's done. The light goes from red to green on the on the little control panel. It says, "Okay, I'm ready to go again." And I know you you touched on a lot of those. Um, 
health issues that light therapy can be beneficial to, things like arthritis, um, hip dysplasia, uh, if a dog has recently had surgery, things like that, they might be taking um, pain medication or some kind of supplement, it might, whether it's natural or um, some kind of prescription medication. Uh, is light therapy safe to use with any of that stuff, even maybe like a topical um, ointment or something like that? Yes. Um, the only thing that um, I would I would caution or mention is, you know, if you have a very thick topical, for example, on a wound, it will inhibit the light a little bit. Not not completely, but it won't make the light quite as efficient. So, in an ideal world, you know, you, they have the ointment on them, you know, on an ongoing basis for a few days or whatever. But you're going to reapply it. Well, when you reapply it, you can actually wipe it, you know, off a little bit, and then do the treatment, and then reapply it. I see. So you'll get a little bit more efficiency. But there's no reaction of the light therapy to, you know, the medication uh, that would be adverse to the pet. That's good to know because nowadays everything seems like it has more side effects than, uh, you know, benefits now. Well, that's the beauty of, you know, hopefully using this, this more holistic approach to these things. So you're not, you're not complicating with, well, gee, we've got the, uh, the dogs on this, the dogs on this, this reacts with this. You know, in an ideal world, if you could get them off of all of that kind of medication, it's better for the pet, certainly. Absolutely. Those were all the questions that I had, but um, if there's anything that we, that you'd like to talk about that we haven't touched on, um, feel free to throw anything out there you know i think we pretty much covered all the important things i mean the, the thing that 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 motivates us here at lumatech is is we want our our pets and our customers pets and everybody's pets to be as healthy as possible with the least amount of of drug interaction and whatnot and you know when when pets, especially when they get older, and I keep going back to this arthritis thing, uh, because that, you know, there's a huge percentage of human beings and a, and a like percentage of both dogs and cats, horses, and you name it, that as they get older, you know, arthritis is just a way of life. It is what it is, and, and the drugs that are generally prescribed for that are really not very good for you, uh, both human and pet. So, you know, our whole program here at Lumitech is to, to help get rid of a lot of that stuff, if at all possible, or minimize the, the doses of that in conjunction with the light. And we're also looking now at doing some larger light therapy um, devices that would use, for example, you could treat the entire spinal area of a horse, which is an area where horses generally need help because, you know, you've got people jumping up and down, I mean, the horses are jumping over fences and people are sitting on the horses and, and their backs get out of whack. Yeah, of course. You know, and they get inflamed. So we're looking at, at expanding um, to that area as well. But it's the same exact technology. Nothing's different. It's just going to be a, a longer, skinnier device that lays on the back. Uh, but, you know, we're just committed to the health of our pets. I mean, that's the, the one thing that, that stands out more than anything. And, and just as, as an aside, you know, when someone decides to buy one of these things, you know, they're going to spend 150 bucks. But the thing comes with a full two-year warranty. You know, anything that goes wrong with it, we replace it, you know, immediately, although we get very, very few back. But but it's something that we, we stand behind. And uh, we don't we don't have, you know, people buying it and, and having problems and not getting, you know, proper customer service. That's not a good thing. No, I think that's one of the biggest things, you know, as consumers that people are looking for, especially when you get into technology and, um, you know, devices that are working with mechanical parts, uh, batteries, things like that, the lights that um, obviously your product has. Uh, people want to know that it's going to work. And one of the ways that um, I know for myself and for a lot of our friends and family that are consumers as well, obviously, um, what we hear most often is, you know, if a company stands behind what they're selling, if they're telling you that we are so confident in this product that, you know, we're going to warranty it for a year or two years or whatever it might be, um, 
you're you're more apt to purchase a product like that whereas you know you get on Amazon and you order something and you know if it doesn't work or it breaks in a week you're just out that money so um, I think it is important to note that as well um, and of course you know just the device being so easy to use user friendly um, and safe right now like you said it sadly is almost a way of life for um, pets to have arthritis, uh, hip dysplasia, a lot of it, you know, stems from obesity and things like that in younger years, but there's many reasons for it. Genetics, overbreeding, inbreeding. Um, we're seeing a lot more hip and joint, um, spine issues, uh, disc disease and things like that in dogs. So to know that there is a treatment that is safe and effective, um, and something that's not either going to have side effects of its own or cause any side effects with any of the other treatments that you're using, um, that's a peace of mind for pet owners. I know, um, like I said, we work with a holistic veterinarian for our dogs and, um, you know, that's a big part of why we do it. We want to know that the treatment that we're giving is not making anything worse or is not going to affect our dog negatively in another way. You know, you might be helping the arthritis, but you're hurting the kidneys and the liver with all the prescription medications at the same time. So um, you're really not Absolutely. doing any favors. Well, you know, one other quick thing I'll mention too that just popped into my mind. We have several people that, that have dogs that do, you know, these competitive events, you know, where they're jumping. Oh, absolutely, and agility and things. Stuff. And this this is a great therapeutic device to prevent the dogs from injury. Um, and we have two or three people now that are using that, you know, before and after these competitions to, you know, to help keep things, keep the, you know, inflammation down in the joints and, and promote the circulation and the, the, you know, it makes the dog... Dogs like us, I mean, you overwork yourself and your muscles get sore. You know, and the better shape you're in, the less that happens, of course. But they're using the light therapy for the deep treatment stuff to, you know, to kind of give the, 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 the dog a once-over, either before or after or both, when they have competition. So it's an interesting approach that we hadn't really even thought about when we first uh, started to work on this product. Yeah, absolutely. And I know, um, you know, working dogs, I, I guess for lack of a better term, as sporting dogs, um, are becoming more popular. People are either using them for, um, you know, something that they're, it is kind of like a job, like a hunting dog or a retriever. Um, but, you know, sports like agility and um, things like that are becoming a lot more popular too. So that was a, a definitely a great thing to note, um, you know, to help those joints doing that much work over a long periods of time, you know, for years that the dog is competing, uh, that's a, your joints, their joints, their hips, they're taking a beating for sure. So um, it's would be a great thing if you could prevent uh, early onset, you know, arthritis or um, degenerative diseases like that. Speaking with Craig really opened my eyes to what light therapy can offer us as pet owners, what it can offer to our pets. Um, so I hope you guys learned as much from this podcast interview as I did. Uh, I know that I really appreciated talking to Craig and uh, like I mentioned in the interview, you know, light therapy is something that I feel like a lot of pet parents aren't educated about. We just don't know that it's out there. So if you think that it might be right for your pet, look into it. Um, check out the LumaSooth website. If you jump on our website, which is theoryofpets.com, uh, we've linked to their site there. And I've also linked to some studies and some great research that shows the benefits of light therapy and the things that uh, it can do for your pet. So check that out. Um, and while you're on theoryofpets.com, if you wouldn't mind leaving a quick review, that helps me when I reach out to people like uh, Craig or companies like LumaSooth and I approach them about having an expert talk on the show. You know, if I can show them that you guys are listening and you're loving it, then uh, they're a lot more apt to come on and speak so uh, if you guys could leave a quick review on iTunes that only takes a minute and I would really appreciate that if you have any questions about light therapy that either I can answer or that I can pass on to a representative at LumaSooth and try and get an answer for you um, I would be happy to do that leave those on our website as well again it's theoryofpets.com thanks a lot for listening guys I will see you back next time